Okay, I hung this unit on the wall and uh, configured the PVC and um, ran the gas line over to the unit. Um, so they still had to glue the PVC, hook up the, this vent line, hook in our wireless thermostat, which is pretty cool. Um, they had to obviously configure the entire system. Uh, get rid of our old boiler. Here, our floor's kind of a mess here. Um, and pipe in all this copper. They didn't touch any of the cast, uh, but it looks like the concerns I have is that our uh, supply water is coming in. It is connected with the um, regulators, um, but it, it still is coming into the system. Um, after the pump, which in design situations it seems like it comes in between these two, uh, the, the tank and, and the vent there. Um, the other concern is that the tank is on the return side of the secondary loop and instead of on the supply side. I think in most of the diagrams with primary and secondary loops, the tank should have been hooked up up here. Um, it does look like less than 12 inches uh, for the primary loop, which is piped in it. Looks like one inch, probably about, what's that, one and a quarter. Uh, I assume for the, um, the secondary loop, uh, but it, of course it goes all the way up to two inch cast up here. Uh, so we got our, our big two inch cast. Um, what else? Uh, it doesn't look like they left me a T for the supply for the uh, hot water hookup. They did put a valve on there, up there. Uh, we need the, um, the filter for the condensate because I have cast iron pipes and I don't want those things rotting away. Um, so I believe that up here we should have had a T right there. Uh, so we could have hooked the domestic hot water on or you know, maybe a T here somewhere. Uh, it would have been good to have a T, but fortunately we do have the valves. We can shut everything down, drain the boiler, and put a T in there for domestic hot water if we add it. Um, they did get rid of our oil tank and the old heater. So, oh, they also did not take this out. They originally said that they were going to take out this uh, regulator on the supply side of the loop. Um, however, it's still there. Um, uh, so I thought their job was going to be bigger having to get into the cast, but this actually looks like this is the old copper that used to be here. <sighs> Looking at the plumbing job, I feel like I could have done it myself, maybe even done something that matched the design conditions a little bit better. But this guy knows hydronic, don't know if he really knows the mod cons really well. Uh, so anyway, um, he also set my um, design temperatures uh, uh, drastically different. He hooked the um, he hooked the outdoor temperature sensor right above the dryer vent. That's got to move. Um, that was probably just a temporary fix, but he got this all done in a single day. He removed the old boiler, oil tank, and got this system in on a cold day when I was out of town and my wife was home with the kids. So congrats to him for getting it all installed. But I'd expected him to put more plywood up underneath here at the bottom. Not a big deal. I can still slip it in there, probably. Uh, but I'd only put these two boards up uh, back here and uh, hung this in the wall. He just put this one extra piece of plywood up and put that last stud up on the other side because um, I was not able to fit that behind the old boiler uh, exhaust.